bro. Oh, boy, dude. Not at me, bro. Okay. Bro, what the? Wait, what, is what is that? Oh, oh. oh. Jared. <laughs> me, bro. Jared, no. Jared. Oh. <laughs> So earlier today, a friend of mine showed up at my lab unprompted and started shooting me with Nerf darts. <laughs> my cries of pain went unheard, so I need to figure out a way to, to get even now. Luckily, CVS is open 24-7 and I was able to snag these two items. First one's a Nerf blaster and pretty self-explanatory. The second item is a disposable camera. For those of you wondering why I might have bought this camera, here's a cool kent. The flash. The way it works is pretty interesting. This camera is powered by a AAA battery, which only provides 1.5 volts, a relatively low charge. To overcome this, the flyback driver is used to step up the voltage by rapidly switching current through a transformer. The resulting high voltage energy is stored in a capacitor which then releases it all at once through the flash tube to produce a bright burst of light. What's important here is the flyback driver. This driver converts the small voltage of the AAA battery into something that can charge this 400 volt capacitor. And the reason why I want this capacitor is because when it makes contact with a conductive surface, this happens. And it just so happens that it's about the same size as a Nerf dart. It is currently 1 a.m. and my friend wraps up her classes tomorrow at 1 p.m. So that gives me about 12 hours to make the blaster and then use it. So here's the plan. My plan is to take this Nerf blaster, attach the flyback driver to it with a battery, add a charging button, and connect some wires to some touch pads at the front. Then I will modify the Nerf darts by adding a capacitor to the tip and creating some contact pads for it as well. Then when I load the dart, I can charge up the capacitor and when I'm ready, I can fire the blaster. Oh man. Yeah, I did that. I broke apart three cameras, and each and every time I shocked myself trying to extract that board. How could I have avoided this? By using this video's sponsor, PCBWay. Whether you need PCBs, 3D printing, or CNC milling, PCBWay has you covered. With the time I spent trying to get a working flyback driver, I could have placed my order to PCBWay and saved myself $100 from all the cameras I broke. It's as simple as going to their website, dropping in your Gerber files, and then clicking the options you need like board layers, size, or colors. In fact, for a limited time, Purple Solder Masks are free. From there, they provide a quick quote, and that's basically it. Their turnaround time is very fast, and it's been great using their services, not just in my videos, but my university project as well. Thanks again to PCBWA for sponsoring this video. The blaster's done, and the way it works, we have the flyback driver here with the button that charges up that charges up the capacitor. And once it's charged, it can discharge. And of course you can still shoot it like normal. And if you're curious if it hurts, we can test it out. Oh! Oh! Don't 
take this to school tomorrow, I guess. Zachy! <laughs> Bro, what the? Wait, what, is what is that? Oh, 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 oh. Jared! <laughs> Not me, bro. Jared, no. Jared. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hey, right, you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, it should be like. Okay. <laughs> 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 <laughs>